The question of today, what is a vertical gaming mouse and is it any good for you? I don't know, let's see. So check this folks, the people over at eTech City have this mouse called a scrolling gaming mouse. Now, when I first heard this thing, I was like, wow, what the heck did management send me? Like a, a vertical gaming mouse? Like what's the difference between a vertical game mouse? And I gotta admit, when I first saw it, I kind of scoffed a little bit about it. And I was like, okay, you know, cool, looks cool, but whatever, it doesn't really work. But I have to say that after using it, and for the amazing price of only $15 that's on sale for right now, this is actually a really dynamic product. Now, everyday use of a mouse involves you moving your wrist back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, till eventually there's two points on your wrist that get sore. Now, when you're using a vertical gaming mouse though, this stress is eliminated because it's a lot more natural. It's actually just like having your hand sitting on a desk and naturally moving it back and forth. Now, the eTech City, this scrolling thing features six buttons and an automatic DPI changing button on the top of it. Now the button layout is kind of like this. The first two buttons are located on the left hand side. Then on top we have the adjustable DPI button. Now the adjustable DPI is like this. You can change it from 600 to 1000 to 1600. And although I think many people out there are saying, oh man, hey, that's low DPI. That's not gonna help me for gaming. Trust me, this mouse works completely different than other mice and it really works. And actually the lower the DPI, I found to actually be better for this particular mouse. And as you guys can see, when I turn to 1600, the mouse is just flying all over the screen with little or no effort whatsoever. And on the right hand side, we see on the top the eTech City logo, the left control button, the right control button, and the scroll wheel, which also doubles as another button. And located on the bottom, we can see the laser tracker. And here we've got a cool shot where you guys can actually see the laser shooting on the desk. Now, another thing about this mouse is that it comes with this kind of a footrest or hand rest on it. Me personally, I found it a lot more comfortable to just simply remove this. It's very easy. Just take it off the bottom and throw it at the camera. Just like that. Hey, you can probably hear it. I hit him right in the chest like a bullseye. I'm good. All right, folks. So that's pretty much what the mouse looks like, the button configuration and all that stuff. I want to say also that it's just completely plug and play. It works with both the Mac and a PC. So regardless what arena you want to play around with, this mouse will work for you. Now, like I said in the beginning, when I first got the E-Tech City Scroll Endurance, I was like, okay, you know, what have you guys sent me? It's $15 mouse. This thing is not going to be that great in gaming. But you want to know something? It actually does work pretty solid in gaming across the board. Now, the laser sometimes does to me seem like it's not the most totally accurate thing on the planet. But like I said before, you actually have to set the DPI kind of low. Otherwise, the mouse is all over the place, which is kind of different. A lot of people may disagree with this, but I really like this thing set right in the middle. You set this thing at a thousand, you're getting the perfect balance between speed and slowness. It works great for scrolling the internet, great for doing games, and for $15, <laughs> I don't know, I have to say, I think this thing's a solid thumbs up here on Tech and Tomorrow. It's very inexpensive, very easy on your body, it's ergonomic, it's got its removable bottom little thing there. The cable, eh, cable's a little bit kind of flimsy. I don't know, it's not, the, uh, cable, uh, it's not the greatest cable in the world. It's not braided or anything like that. But then again, think about it. You're paying $15. Um, this particular one in my hand, gotta be honest with you folks, I'm gonna give it to my mom. I think she will absolutely love this. This is one thing I wanna really, really talk about, folks. If you're someone out there and you're having wrist problems or you have carpal tunnel or that kind of stuff from a regular mouse, this mouse will definitely work much better for you on the real. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, wow, you know, it's low priced, but you know what? It's low priced because, hey, it's not a lot to it, but it works. So that's what I'm going to say about it. I mean, I really don't know, you know, what else to tell you guys. I mean, $15 is a very low price. I could keep saying that over and over and over again, probably got like a broken record, but it's just so true. A lot of people just spend that on one meal. So if you want something that'll work, you want something that will not wear your hand off. Six buttons, very, very ergonomic. It grips, look, almost like an exercise machine. Then I think the E-Tech City Scroll Endurance is something you're going to want to check out. I'm going to actually include this on my next round of products when I do the best of bounces under $25. 
I will definitely be including this bad boy in there. So I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more interesting stuff next week. Uh, would you guys like to see some kind of like uh, crazy helicopter kind of crazy stuff, you know, with all these new drones and all that stuff? Leave a comment down below because we were thinking about going out and getting some drones and doing some videos like that. So if you guys would like to see that, please leave a comment down below with the hashtag drone me. Peace out. Like usual, all the information will be down there below that like button. Um, hopefully you guys like this product. I mean, honestly, for 15 bucks, it's a solid winner. It's not a lot of money, man. I'm just, I wanted to talk shit. <laughs> See you later.